In this video, we're going to be turning a otherwise cloudy photo of a city into something more pleasant looking. So we're going to turn it into something like this, where we swap the sky and introduce some clouds that are, you know, kind of shining off the sun in this case, making it a little more uh, positive looking photo. So we'll start right off by actually deleting the background of this image. And we're going to be sourcing this image to start with. This is our working image and we'll source this image for the clouds. So to start, I'm going to duplicate my base layer and hide it. And then below that, I'll start actually removing this background or masking it out. So I'll take our selection tool, brush tool, and just slowly kind of paint the edges of these buildings. Uh, it should kind of magnetize itself to where we need, but we'll have to go back and refine just a tad. So I'm going to zoom in, do some of that. And I'm using the bracket keys to increase and decrease uh, the size here. And then I'm also holding option on my key keyboard to subtract the selection as I paint. Uh, you can also click that selection in the top left corner. I find it a little more uh, quicker to just do the key command. And they're going to be areas where you, you kind of need to just kind of invent the composition to a degree. Some of the parts of the building uh, aren't just going to come through to the final product, but we can make it look pretty darn close. So that's kind of part of the process here. So I'm just going through and refining. Okay, I think we're set. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep that selection going. Uh, by not clicking anywhere else and then I'm going to go to select invert pixel selection and at that point I'll click refine and it should show red behind the scenes here and kind of uh, do a little bit finer of a selection for us around the building edges so I am going to basically leave it as is we could go back through and paint this to make it even more um, um, I guess fin infinite selection, but uh, I think it's good okay as is. Uh, so I'm going to, on the output uh, parameter here, I'm going to go ahead and click mask and then hit apply. And you should see that background disappear, which is exactly what we want. Great. So that's a start. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. And I have a source file already saved to our final folder here. I'm going to just do. Um, Another one, just maybe a working file. So of course, if you have a pro subscription, you can download these files and work on your own and follow along. Great, so we should be all set. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of leftover issues up here. We can probably go back and you know repaint those back if we want to. Maybe invert our brush color by hitting X on our keyboard and I can try to paint some of that back. So we're on white right now. Looks like it picked up some of that um, the whiter shades of the building there. So okay so with that done we can go ahead and save that as a uh, affinity photo file and I need to come now to our other source photo and I'm just going to use the marquee selection here and the rectangular one and just grab as much sky as I can without getting some of the mountain tops. Actually, I'll probably go right to the skyline. It's okay if you do get some of the mountain. And I will do edit, copy merge, so shift command C. And then we'll go back to this working file and paste that in. And you're gonna notice it's not quite large enough for our, our image, but that's okay. Uh, in our case, I think I'm just gonna scale this and it will actually go right behind our cityscape. So already it's starting to take place, as you see. So let me scale this a bit. So it covers the whole skyline and you can pick and choose what part looks probably the most natural or best to you in this case.
much. So maybe we'll do that part right there. It looks like I'm not quite big enough though. There we go. Okay, so I'll run with that. And it looks it looks pretty good, but I noticed the brightness of the clouds is a little bit more bright than the tone of this photo itself. So there's some work to be done there. Uh, let's start with the cityscape, kind of working on some uh, tweaks to the image, maybe brightening it up and making it a little more I guess, balanced with the clouds. So I'll do a, first I'm gonna do a levels effect on it. And I'm just gonna bring the whites up or I should say down in this case. So it's kind of taking out some of the darkness in the photo. But you'll see it's applying itself to everything. We only want this to apply to the city layer that I created. So if you nest it in this group, you'll see that it's only applied to that now. And you can show and hide that just like so. So one other tweak I like to do, uh, a big kind of photo like this, kind of a busy photo is increase the curves. Just do what's known as an S curve. And you drop the lows here and then bring the highs up just a bit above the, the baseline. It kind of helps with the sharpness. Well, going one step further, I like to kind of increase this very last control just a bit, just to kind of give a more, uh, I don't know, vintage look, so to speak. So you'll notice the blacks aren't quite as black. So it kind of balances things out already. We can go even further and probably tweak the clouds. So I'm gonna do that next. I'm gonna do a HSL filter. And I'm actually gonna increase the saturation a bit. And you'll notice it's, it's working on just the clouds layer, but that's only because it's above it. But just for safety's sake, I'm gonna put it below and nest it. So it's only adjusting that. So we can come back and you'll see how bright it gets when you make those adjustments. So I'll go a little bit brighter. Great. Okay, and then when we did make those levels and curves adjustments, the buildings at the very tip before it hits the sky to me looks a little unrealistic. So we kind of need some shadow based on the way the light would come through. Uh, so on the levels adjustment, I'm gonna actually brush some of that out. So if you select the levels adjustment layer and have black on your palette, you can go ahead and brush some of that away. I'm going to decrease the opacity. My hardness is set at zero. I'm just going to follow the building line where we did mask it originally. And you'll notice it gets a little darker at the edges and that's kind of what I'm going for. Because if you, if you think about a building, if the sun peaks just over the edge, the very edge of it's quite dark if you're looking at it. So I kind of want to get that, that look, make it look realistic in this case. Okay. Maybe a little more. Maybe the same on the curves adjustment. See what happens with that. I think that one won't do as much, more so the levels. Great, and then parts of this photo itself are kind of dark, and I think I can tweak this a little bit further. Let's see what we can do with uh, maybe a, a lens filter. Here we can bring some color into the composition, maybe make it a little more later in the day kind of feel. Uh, I'll probably put that below these adjustments and tweak the color some. Maybe a cooler filter, since after all it's blue skies. But maybe we'll go with yellow and just kind of decrease the opacity. Give it like there is some, you know, some sun shining through. And the clouds themselves kind of look, since we're stretching them a bit, they're not quite in proportion to what we're going for. So I'm going to adjust the whole image a bit by doing a bit of filtering uh, that's called haze removal. It's a really neat feature for Affinity Photo. It kind of just cleans up a photo, gets rid of some unnecessary things in it. Uh, so I'm gonna grab the first, the city layer, do haze removal on it. And you can do a side-by-side -side comparison here. And it's very subtle. 
but I notice the once it generates here, once you kind of do a side by side, say with this woman walking, you'll notice a little bit lighter tones on the layer itself, which is great. So I think I'm gonna just leave it the default settings, apply that, and then we'll actually do the same for the pixel, the uh, cloud layer, excuse me. There we go, I might um, decrease some of that And the strength kind of a lot, so let's see. After is on the left, by the way, so that's where we're kind of looking. It's a little strong, so I think I'm gonna bring back the exposure some. but it does pump it up, so I think that's okay. So let's let's apply that. And I think we have our final piece here, guys. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now you could introduce more realistic concepts, maybe a plane kind of flying over the edge. I invite you to take that to the next step. Uh, maybe you can find a plane or some birds or something that would be in the sky and add this to the composition yourself and see what you come up with.